first video of myself. Kind of awkward. I was going to have help with it, but because of certain events, that's not helping or that's not happening. So I kind of have to deal and, and do it on my own. First of all, I am female to male. Just get that straight because I know I'm going to end up talking about stuff like that eventually. That way no one's confused. And if my hair does look disheveled, I did take a shower like maybe a day ago or so. Um, but it's also because I'm just not feeling good. My period is coming up and yes, I, was, I said the word period. I have to acknowledge it. It's here. So that's coming up and I, ugh, I'm not looking forward to it. I'm already feeling the nasty side effects, which I'm surprised I'm actually doing this video. And also, I am going through some nasty depression. So, I haven't really been taking care of myself as normally as I would be, but I'm trying to get back on it. It's kind of hard when you're so depressed, though, that you don't care about your appearance. You just don't care anymore. But besides that, I wanted to make this video about relationships. Um, I, well, I guess you could say I just recently came out of one. Not in the ways that I was hoping, but it happened, and it, yes, I will admit that is a major part of my depression, um, and now I have no idea if that person is still subscribed to my YouTube channel or not, I don't know, but if you're watching this, I hope you're doing fine. I hope you're doing okay. And I'm starting to really regret not agreeing to, you know, if anything does happen, let's be friends. I'm starting to really regret that. But if that's all that we can be right now as friends, I have no issue with that whatsoever. I just really miss talking to you. And if that's all you want to be as friends for however long, even if it's until you get some things straightened out, okay, I'll do it. Just just so that we could talk again, because I do miss you. So anyways, back to the original thing, relationships. I have been with maybe at the most nine guys, not sexually, not sexually, but just boyfriend-girlfriend thing. This is before, way before I realized I'm transgender. Well, Definitely, I was too young. I, my first boyfriend was in fourth grade, and that didn't last long at all. He just up and moved. <laughs> I have no idea where, but that one, I was. it was easy to get over. Um, I honestly can't tell you of all the guys, because I can't remember. It's been that long. I know maybe I've had at the at the max nine and out of girlfriends I have had three now the first one was my ex best friend um tell you about her I had to I had to move to Massachusetts because my birth mother had recently just gotten married to my stepfather and he got a job well no he didn't get a job promotion it's just that we all moved in together and he had a place he had an apartment up in Massachusetts so I moved there yeah it sucked didn't want to do it <clears throat> excuse me didn't want to do it but had to I was 12 I had no I had no place in it I mean hell they didn't even ask if they could get married they just did it so I knew I had no control whatsoever um uh, well I had met this girl the first week I had started that middle school and we just we clicked so well just in the next few months we became very very close the best of friends and Everyone knew we were best friends. I mean, I remember one time we were on a, field, uh, on a field trip. I think it was to a museum. I honestly can't remember. And the group had to be separated. 
you know, evenly. And the group that she was in was already filled. I'm like, dang it. Because I really wanted to be in the same group with her. One of my classmates, I will never forget this. That was so generous of him. He saw that and he's like, here, Courtney, take my spot. And yes, my birth name is Courtney. I have to go by that from now on right now. But my name and transition and plus actually what we're now doing in the household is CJ. Because it's a combination of Courtney and Justin. Justin will be my name after everything else in the following years. So he says, here, Courtney, you can take my spot. I was so surprised but thankful at the same time. Uh, you know, we were just that well known of best friends. And eventually, you know, sisters. We considered each other sisters. Um, but that friendship was fantastic. Uh, we both came from very hard households. We, we both had very nasty backgrounds. I mean, hers more so than mine, you know. And she, you know, was my world. I hadn't realized that I was actually into her until we had moved again. I was in eighth grade and I was actually halfway done with my eighth grade year and we ended up moving and I was so pissed because there there was a field trip for the end of the year for eighth graders. Oh my God, I was so mad because we had made plans already and then just with me moving that went all down the toilet. I was like, seriously? So, oh well, had to deal with it. Well, this was when I realized something was up with myself. Didn't know what it was. But I was dressing more tomboyish. So, that was progressively getting stronger. So, we moved. And, you know, I was doing my best in communicating with her. You know, calling her daily and all the time. But she always said she was busy. Always busy. And I'm thinking... You know, I'm doing my best on my part, but she's not doing her part. And when we were on the phone together, she would be laughing her butt off at the TV or talking with her sisters or something. And I'd have to constantly say, Lucy, Lucy, hello, you know, that kind of thing. And yes, I, I understand the fact that she has ADHD and ADD, but I was trying to help her out with that. She obviously wasn't really caring at all, but she's also got other issues too. She's schizophrenic. Uh, I swear to you, she has multiple personality disorder, which is MPD, uh, if I'm right. I think I'm right. And I swear bipolar. I could be talking to her on something, and then I want to ask her a, seri a serious question, something, something that I've been curious about for a while. And I would bring up subject, oh my goodness, it went from us just, you know, talking great with each other to her getting pissed at me and yelling at me. Holy crap, just such a turn. I couldn't really talk to my best friend about much of anything anymore. So then, you know, maybe two years ago by or whatever, and I'm realizing that I'm having more than friendly thoughts about her. I didn't give her much attention though. I was thinking maybe just because she's my best friend because it's happened before. I've had, you know, a specific dream about her. And I'm thinking, what is going on? So I went to my birth mother and she said, oh, it's because you guys are best friends. That's why you miss her. I'm like, okay, that, ma that makes sense. Well, to her it did. To me, it didn't be because, you know, I was blindly, you know, listening to her. But anyways, so, I can't remember which event happened first. It was either the call that happened first, or it was me realizing that I had more than friendly feelings. I don't even. Um, oh, let me see if I can remember which one came first. See, it was a New Year's thing. She called me like the day after New Year's to admit to me that she had a crush on me, you know, ever since we first met, and she regretted not telling me before I, before I left. But me, I 
you know, didn't want to ruin the friendship that we had. We had such a precious friendship, well, to me anyways. To her, I don't think it was at all. Just based on the last conversation we had, I gave her an ultimatum and that just basically ruined the whole thing. You know, haven't been, haven't talked to her since. And actually, it's a good thing I got rid of her too. She was part of the reason why I was being held back. Um, well, I was, you know, cycling through because I, I wanted to try to date girls because I was feeling that I should be more on the masculine side of a relationship. I didn't really realize what that meant because I was sheltered from all that stuff because my birth mother didn't want me to be dating girls because we already had a bisexual in the family. My sister Stephanie, but Stephanie is a different story. She she is the stereotype of, you know, a dumb blonde. You know, she's only smart when she really wants to be, and that's hardly ever. Hi, Raven. And, great. Uh, where was I? Oh, yeah. So it took my birth mother, you know, about six months to accept the fact that I wanted to date girls. And then about a year to accept the fact that I was going to date girls. You know, first time it was, you know, realized it was going to be a lesbian. Second time it was, be, you know, I was actually going to date them. I don't know what the hell was going on. But, you know, I was cycling through mentally to see who, out of all the girls that I knew at the time, this was definitely before I dropped out, I believe. Well, I kept on cycling through, kind of like one of those uh, slot machines at the casino. You pull the lever, ch -ch and then like three or four slots, I can't remember, I think it's like three, but those would roll. I kind of did that in my head mentally a few times. And I tried picturing myself with other girls. The only one that kept on popping up every time was Lucy. I'm thinking, what's going on? Why is she popping up every single time? Why can I only see myself with her, you know, relationship wise? I didn't understand. So later that night, I believe, I had sat down, I was taking some time to myself because I hardly ever get the A, hey, don't bite me. And I was thinking about a specific thought and, you know, visiting her, this, you know, as she had a family and a husband, you know, I'm just visiting because I'm the godmother, realized this is before I was actually transgender because I was being hidden away from that. I was being sheltered. Well, <laughs> I come over and you know that, hey, don't bite me, eh? Stop it. It's time to go home, you know, it's nighttime. And I'm having to go home, I'm like, wait a minute. So I stopped at that thought and I'm like, wait a minute. I don't want to have to leave. I want to stay, I want the guy to go. I'm like, hold up, wait a minute. That's not right. If you're wanting to stay and the guy to go so you could stay with Lucy, Something's up. And I realized, whoa, I have more than just friends' feelings for her. So that just shocked the hell out of me. I had no idea. Um, <laughs> so after that, she had called me. You know, so she had a crush, yada, yada, yada. And she kept on asking me out for a few days. And I told her, look, I don't want to ruin this precious friendship that we have. I don't want to. It's just, it's too precious for me to ruin. She understood. She backed off. But then after that, I just started rethinking everything. And I had actually asked a friend of my birth mom. You know what to do and my my best way of getting my feelings out is by writing so that's what I did I wrote exactly how I felt and she read it and she's like go for it <laughs> so the next day after Lucy got off the bus because she would text me off and on after school and I had told her look I've been thinking and I do like you. And I think I do want to give this a shot. And she started asking me, I'm like, no, 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 no. I want to ask you out. 